Hi, I'm Gary Kvistad, founder of Woodstock Chimes. People ask me a lot, what's better, the big chimes or the small chimes? People like the deep tones. My personal opinion is they're all great and they work together. That's what's important. Just like an orchestra has a piccolo and a string bass, they're very different sized instruments. Without those instruments, it would not be an orchestra. So we have an orchestra of wind chimes and a lot of the different collections like the Amazing Grace Collection, the Windsinger Chimes, and the Gregorian Chimes come in various sizes. And if you like the large one, I think you'd like the medium and the small, and it would work well together. So this is the Amazing Grace Chime Large. Plays the opening notes of that beautiful tune, Amazing Grace. The same in the middle range and the high one. Listen to how great they sound together. Depending on the chime you have, this is a standard size tube and it has a really nice sound even though I'm holding it. I'm holding it where the string touches and suspends the uh, chime called the nodal point. It doesn't vibrate there as opposed to here. You notice there's no sound. So that's an important part of it. And that's a proportion. That's a certain percentage of the length is where you suspend it. And here's an example of a smaller rod that we use in some of our wind chimes. It has a really beautiful sound. It's suspended from the same nodal point, but notice how close to the end it is. So <clears throat> the way that it works is the longer the tube, the lower the sound, generally speaking. That's the longest tube on that one. And these are short tubes, so they're very high. They give off less energy, but they sound fantastic. The wall thickness and other factors come into play as well, but that's the key element. And that's what makes these chimes sound the way they do. Size does matter, but all sizes are equal.